What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to add a custom alpha. If you don't know what an alpha is already, let me quickly show you how to sort of apply one. So if we just do this and add a black mask, come into here, click one of our alphas, you can paint that alpha on. See that? Like an arrow, whatever. I'm going to show you how to add a custom one to your existing list down here. So obviously I've got bolts and stuff, I've got a bunch of ones. Alright, so let's say... Um, we want our little robot guy, <clears throat> there's been a murder, and their blood splattered up against him, right? So, first we need to find one we want. Then we need to correct it, because most of the time, get lost windows, most of the time, this will be black, and then the background will be white, or vice versa. And that, uh, well, vice versa is fine, but that's what we want to change it into. We need this part to be white, and this part to be black. So we'll go to Photoshop. Uh, oh, excuse me. And we no. It'd be nice if we did make it a bit lower res and tried to fit it in to a square. Um, because it's a PNG, you usually have to save them out. So if we just minimize these guys, pop it on my desktop, bring you back up, and drag it into here. Get it in. Oh, get it in here. Now. Like I said, we want to image just that. Create a new layer, the black ground black, and boom. That's what's gonna be like in your project, on your substance. Uh, we can save it to wherever we want first, but you will have to move it to a certain folder. So if we find the folder first, and we go. So it usually will be in your documents, your algorithmic, your substance painter, your shelf alphas alphas and then all of them will be in here and they're saved as jpeg so copy that folder ah I hate when it does that so we've got to find it through here quick documents algorithmic substance shelf alpha we'll call it blood splatter save it as a jpeg to match all the other ones save that and it will automatically pop itself in here. If I write in blood now, it will come up. There it is. And obviously blood's red. You can mess with this as much as you want. You can even get a proper material for it. Uh, we'll have it slightly bump out the surface. We'll have it pretty um, thingy. And we'll make it a little bit uh, metallic as well. It's a bit too red, but yeah, it's fine. And we'll just go like this. And now you have your texture. And you, you can just click and splay it on him. And yeah, that is how you add your own custom. Oh yeah, the metal is definitely not looking right. But that's all I want to show you, just how to add your own custom apps. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope some of you learned from this. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.